This video has been produced in the public interest to raise awareness about the potential consequences of nationwide firewalls on internet freedom, privacy, and global connectivity. Our goal is to inform and empower viewers like you to understand the impact of these measures and to advocate for a free and open internet. Remember, staying informed is the first step in protecting our digital rights. Thank you for watching. Imagine a world where your internet speed slows to a crawl, your favorite websites are blocked, and every online move you make is closely monitored. This isn't science fiction, it's the reality for millions living under nationwide firewalls. The censorship effect. When a government installs a nationwide firewall, the first casualty is often your freedom to access information. What is negative impact on internet services when government of the country install firewall nationwide? When a government installs a nationwide firewall, also known as a great firewall, it can negatively impact internet services. It raises several concerns, locally and internationally. Here are some of the critical issues. 1. Censorship and restricted access. Limited access to information. A nationwide firewall often blocks access to certain websites, applications, and services the government deems inappropriate or undesirable. This can significantly limit the information available to citizens, stifling freedom of expression and access to diverse viewpoints. Self-censorship. Knowing that the government is monitoring and possibly censoring online activity, individuals and organizations may engage in self-censorship to avoid repercussions, reducing open discourse. 2. Economic Impact. Impact on businesses. Many businesses rely on the global internet to operate efficiently, particularly those involved in international trade. A nationwide firewall can block access to critical tools and services, e.g., Google services, social media platforms, cloud services, making it difficult for businesses to communicate, collaborate, and reach global markets. Innovation stifling. Restricting access to global knowledge and technologies can stifle innovation, as developers, researchers, and entrepreneurs may be cut off from the latest tools, resources, and collaborative opportunities. 3. Slow internet speeds and latency. Traffic filtering. Nationwide firewalls often involve deep packet inspection, DPI, and other traffic filtering techniques. These processes can slow down internet connections, leading to increased latency and decreased bandwidth. Routing inefficiencies. To enforce the firewall, traffic may be rerouted through specific gateways or proxies, which can result in slower connectivity and higher latency, especially for content hosted outside the country. 4. Privacy and Security risks increased surveillance. Nationwide firewalls are often associated with increased government surveillance of online activities. This can lead to a significant loss of privacy for individuals and businesses. The fear of being monitored can also inhibit free speech and exchanging ideas. Risks of cyber attacks. Concentrating control of internet traffic through a few government controlled points can create single points of failure, making the entire system more vulnerable to cyber attacks, including distributed denial of service (DDoS) attacks. A distributed denial of service (DDoS) attack is a type of cyber attack where multiple compromised computers or devices are used to flood a targeted system, server, or network with a massive amount of traffic. A DDoS attack aims to overwhelm the target's resources, such as bandwidth, memory, or CPU, to the point where legitimate users cannot access the services or resources provided by the targeted system. Here's how it typically works. Botnet creation. Attackers first infect a large number of computers, IoT devices, or other internet-connected devices with malware. These compromised devices, often called bots or zombies, are networked to form a botnet. The owners of these devices are usually unaware that their devices have been compromised. Traffic overload. The attacker then commands the botnet to send overwhelming requests or data to the target, causing its servers or networks to become overloaded. This can lead to slow performance, unresponsiveness, or even a complete shutdown of the targeted service. Disruption. The primary objective of a DDoS attack is disruption. It can prevent users from accessing websites, online services, or entire networks. This can lead to significant financial losses, reputation damage, and disruption of business operations. Types of DDoS attacks, volume-based attacks. These attacks focus on overwhelming the target's bandwidth with a large traffic volume. Examples include UDP floods, ICMP floods, and amplification attacks. Protocol attacks. These attacks exploit weaknesses in network protocols. 
They can target server resources, firewalls, or load balancers by sending malformed packets or exhausting connection tables. Examples include SYN floods, ping of death, and smuff attacks. Application layer attacks. These attacks target specific applications or services, often with the intent to crash them or make them unavailable. They tend to be more sophisticated and more complex to detect. Examples include HTTP floods and slow lorries attacks. Mitigation. Defending against DDoS attacks involves a combination of strategies, including using firewalls, traffic analysis, rate limiting, and deploying specialized DDoS protection services that can absorb and filter malicious traffic before it reaches the target. DDoS attacks are a significant threat to online services, and protecting against them requires constant vigilance and preparation. 5. Fragmentation of the Internet Splinternet, a nationwide firewall can contribute to the fragmentation of the global internet, often referred to as the splinternet. This fragmentation occurs when different countries or regions create their isolated internet ecosystems, making it difficult for users in different regions to access the same content and services. 6. Impact on social connectivity. Isolation from global communities. Social media and communication platforms often play a crucial role in connecting people across borders. A nationwide firewall that blocks or restricts these platforms can isolate citizens from global communities, hinder international collaboration, and reduce cultural exchange. 7. Circumvention Efforts Underground economy. When access to certain services is restricted, it often leads to a black market for VPNs and other circumvention tools. This can create a cat-and-mouse game between the government and users, leading to further restrictions and crackdowns on privacy-enhancing tools. Legal Risks Individuals and businesses that attempt to circumvent the firewall may face legal repercussions, including fines, imprisonment, or other forms of punishment, depending on the severity of the laws in place. 8. Human Rights Concerns Suppression of Dissent Firewalls are often used to suppress dissent and limit the ability of citizens to organize or protest. This can lead to human rights abuses, as individuals may be unable to access information about their rights or mobilize for change. Limitation on freedom of expression. The restriction of access to online platforms and services can severely limit freedom of expression, one of the fundamental human rights protected by international law. In conclusion, while governments may justify the installation of a nationwide firewall for reasons such as national security or cultural protection, the negative impacts on internet services, economic growth, personal freedoms, and global connectivity can be substantial. It is a complex issue that often leads to a trade-off between control and openness, with significant consequences for individuals and society. Does a great firewall affect internet speed? Yes. The Great Firewall, or any similar nationwide internet censorship system, can significantly affect internet speed. Here's how it impacts the speed and overall quality of internet connections. 1. Traffic Filtering and Inspection Deep Packet Inspection DPI. The Great Firewall uses deep packet inspection to analyze the data packets passing through it. DPI is a resource-intensive process that can slow down data transmission, as each packet must be inspected to determine whether it meets the government's criteria for censorship or should be allowed to pass. Content Filtering Besides DPI, the firewall filters content based on keywords, URLs, and other parameters. This filtering process adds latency, as evaluating and potentially blocking or rerouting traffic takes time. 2. Routing Traffic Through Proxies Centralized gateways the Great Firewall funnels all international internet traffic through government-controlled gateways. This centralization can create bottlenecks, particularly during peak usage, leading to slower connection speeds and higher latency. Rerouting and blocking. When the firewall blocks access to specific sites or services, it may reroute traffic to alternative paths or send users to blocked page notifications. These additional routing steps can further slow down the connection. 3. Latency increases. The processes of filtering and rerouting add time to how long data travels between the user and the destination server. This increased latency is particularly noticeable when accessing sites and services hosted outside the country, as the firewall introduces delays at multiple stages of the connection. Longer ping times. Users affected by the Great Firewall often experience longer ping times when trying to access international websites, reflecting the delays caused by the censorship infrastructure. 4. Bandwidth Limitation Throttling of Certain Services 
The Great Firewall may intentionally throttle, slow, down specific types of traffic, such as video streaming, VPNs, or large file downloads, to make them less accessible or to discourage their use. Overloaded Infrastructure The centralized filtering system can lead to network congestion, especially when many users are trying to access blocked or filtered content simultaneously. This congestion can reduce the available bandwidth for all users, further slowing down internet speeds. 5. Impact on VPNs and circumvention tools. Slower VPN connections. Many users rely on VPNs to bypass the Great Firewall. However, VPN connections often experience slower speeds because the firewall actively works to detect and block VPN traffic. Even when a VPN is successful, the added encryption and rerouting through foreign servers can slow down the connection. Intermittent connections. The firewall's attempts to block circumvention tools can lead to unstable or sporadic connections, where the internet speed fluctuates or drops altogether as the firewall tries to disrupt the VPN or proxy usage. 6. Global Internet Fragmentation Splinternet Effects The Great Firewall contributes to the fragmentation of the internet, often called the splinternet. This fragmentation means that users behind the firewall are effectively cut off from parts of the global internet. This leads to slower access to international content and services due to the extra filtering and routing steps. 7. User Experience Slower Load Times Websites, especially those hosted outside the country, may take significantly longer to load due to the firewall's additional filtering and inspection steps. Interrupted streaming and downloads. Streaming videos, downloading large files, or using real-time communication tools can be particularly challenging behind the Great Firewall, with frequent buffering, interruptions, and reduced quality due to slower speeds. 8. Overall Network Performance. Network Congestion. During periods of high demand, the centralized infrastructure of the Great Firewall can become congested, further degrading internet performance across the country. This congestion can result in slower speeds for all users, not just those accessing blocked content. Reduced International Connectivity The firewall's restrictions can make international internet connectivity less reliable and slower, affecting businesses, academics, and individuals who need to access global resources. In summary, the Great Firewall does have a noticeable impact on internet speed. Filtering, inspection, rerouting, and traffic control all contribute to slower, less reliable internet connections, particularly when accessing content outside the country. These slowdowns can affect everything from simple web browsing to data-intensive activities like streaming, video conferencing, and file downloads. The next time you experience slow internet or can't access the information you need, remember, it's not just about connection speed, it's about control. Nationwide firewalls are changing the way we experience the internet, and it's up to us to stay informed and push back. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into how technology shapes our world.